Hi friends, it's Miss Pam from Lawrence Branch. I'm here today to show you how to make these beautiful bouquets you can give to mom for Mother's Day. Because you know Mother's Day is coming up in a little more than a week. So, and this is just made with paper and paint and a ribbon. So, and all you need to paint it with is your finger. So, very simple. I'm going to show you. So, what you need is one piece of cardstock. Um, if you don't have cardstock, I would use construction paper, or a, if you have any, like a, you want a thicker paper than regular like printer paper. But if you only have printer paper, it would work. It just might not. Um, it would just be a little more floppier up here, but it should still work. Okay, and then you need paint. So you need to figure out what color flowers you want. Like, see on this one, I have some yellow, some pink, some purple. On this one, I have the same. But like you see, you want to make sure your colors coordinate with the paper color. So I am going to use purple, pink, and red. I do have a blue here, but I'm not going to use that one because it is too close to the color of my paper. And I have some yellow. Okay. You need some ribbon or yarn or string, something to tie it with. See, this is curling ribbon, and this is just string. So, okay. And then you need scissors, because we have to cut the paper. And then you're going to need clear tape. Make sure it's clear, okay? So, I already put my colors already on a paper plate. Putting it on a paper plate is the best, so you can just tap it, and you don't have to worry about making too much of a mess. Okay, so first step we're going to do is take our paper and we need to cut it into a square because this is too big. So we're going to fold it down so the edge, so the one corner meets the edge. Like that. And I'll make like a triangle. Okay, and we're going to cut this extra piece off here. You just need to just get rid of that. Okay, so now we have our square. So what you want to do is hold it up like a diamond shape. So what we have to do is we have to fold it a little bit. So you're going to take this first corner and we're going to fold it in so it touches this crease. You see this crease here? Okay, like that. See how I did that? Okay, now we're going to take this corner and we're going to fold it, but we're going to overlap this one a little bit. Just a little bit, not too much. Okay, see how now it's overlapping that one. All right. Okay, now open it up and you're going to take this corner and you're going to just fold it down. You see now you have new creases here. You're going to fold this corner down to the crease. So that corner touches the crease. Okay? Like that. See how that looks? You're going to do the same on this side. Okay. Now, if you fold it back up, okay. it looks like something you would hold flowers in. Doesn't it look like a bag that you would put flowers in? So. Now we're going to make our flowers. So get your paint and you also want to make sure you have a paper towel because you want to wipe your finger off in between because you don't want to mix the colors up too much. All right, so you just want to put your finger, now remember where the flowers are going to go because you don't want to put flowers down here where it's going to be folded over. So, all right, so just keep it close while you're doing it so you know where to put it. So you're going to dip your finger into the paint and then you're just going to tap on the paper into like a circle to make the flower. All right. You just want to do it, make a couple flowers. colors. And 
And then I'm going to switch one more time to this purple. Now I have my flowers and then I still have yellow on the plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the yellow and I'm going to put it in the center. So you just, but be very careful so you don't mix the colors too much. Now, doesn't that look like flowers? Okay, so now you need your green marker. And you're gonna open it up. And what you're gonna do is you're going to draw the stems of the flowers. So you're just gonna go from the flower, just draw a line down, just like that, okay? You're gonna do it for each flower. Just make sure that you don't mess up the paint. So if you have a flower that is on top of another flower, so you can't draw a straight line, so you just draw a little bit of a line, skip over the flower, and then continue the line down. Not like that. All right, and then if you want, you can draw leaves down here. You don't um, have to do too much because this part's gonna be covered, but just in case you wanted to, you could. So. Okay. Now, if you fold it back up and look at it, doesn't it look like flowers? So, now, you just have to close it and put your ribbon on. So what you wanna do is take a piece of tape and tape this front flap down so it doesn't keep opening. I'm just going to make what I call a tape bubble and then put it on the underside and then Okay, now you wanna get your ribbon. Again, you can use whatever you want. You can use yarn, you could use string. I just have this curling ribbon here. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is find the center. Okay, and the center's here. So what I wanna do is make sure this goes underneath so I want to tape the center on the back. Okay, so I'm going to put that on and I'm going to hold it. I'm going to take a little piece of tape and then I'm going to tape the ribbon onto the back so it doesn't keep moving and sliding down, okay? Just a little piece of tape. Okay, so now, see it's staying on. Now all you want to do is tie like a little bow. And that's it. There we go. Doesn't that look great? And mom will love it. If you give this to her for Mother's Day, she will love it. So, and it was very, very simple to make. You can make several of them, different colors. So, you know. See, you can make different color flowers. You can make each one different. It's up to you. So, the point is just have fun with it because I'm sure no matter what it is, mom will love it. So you can make one for grandma, you can give one to neighbors, you know, everyone will like, will love one. So, well, I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you have a great rest of your day and make sure you say happy Mother's Day to mom on Mother's Day and hope to see everyone soon. Now we're open. You can come visit us. I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.